Alright, one more. I've hit the sleepy stage now. We can make it through this. Stop flashing purple. Make wait, wait! <laughs> You're supposed to flash purple. I have diabetes. Diabetes. Activate certain qualities of Cyberdorf. Doesn't look like it. Only have one insulin. Let's go do some that. Is that why the screen's been flashing purple the whole time? Representing diabetes, whether or not it actually affects our stats. Something, haven't you? My son, Gilmir, he's that name. That name it frustrates me. Do not call me by that. Call me Brimley. Wilfred Brimley. Speak, Charles Barkley. Tell me what you want from me. I do not have much time. I only have one gift left to give. How do you know my name? I know many things, Charles Barkley. Please, tell me about your son. They... That bastard! He... I sense a great level of diabetes within your son. It's... It's type 2! The kind they were never able to cure! I didn't know what to do! I didn't know where to take him! Please, Wilfred Brimley, I need you! Many people need me, Charles Barkley. Yet I can only help one. Do you know why I am hooked to this machine? I have a gift. Perhaps others will call it a curse. But I choose to look at it differently. You see, I have the ability to take away someone's diabetes and make it my own. It hurts me, Charles Barkley. It hurts me very badly. Because of the extremely high levels of diabetes in my body, I must remain connected to this insulin machine at all times. I've remained in this room for over 50 years, absorbing the suffering of those around me. But my body has grown weak, and not even the constant insulin drip of my machine can help me anymore. I'm dying. Charles Barkley, I'm dying. Tell me, Charles Barkley, why should I help you? I love my son. How much you love him. More than I love Maureen. That is all I wanted to hear. I will put hoops into my machine. And I will take away his agony. <laughs> Fucking timing. Stop where you are. Who's talk? Oh, Vinceborg. You son of a bitch. Where the hell have you? What the hell are you doing here? What the hell do you want? My mission is to kill Hoops Barkley. I'm here to sh make sure that happens. God damn it, Vince. Snap out of it. Don't you see you've been brainwashed by B-L-O-O-D-M-O-S-E-S? It isn't like you, Vince. You're not one of the bad guys. You shouldn't be doing this. No, no. I, I shouldn't. This is not my concern. My mission is to kill Hoops Barkley. And if you're not... If you're going to stand in my way, then I'll kill you too! More battles! Hiccups! Oh! It's the epic battle music again. Must be a big one. Or maybe it's just Vinceburg's theme, I don't know. Uh -uh. Yes! <laughs> 
Nice! But not uh, really. <laughs> nice running animation. Progress. We need some BP. This It's in the face. I need to tell you. Okay, Dad. Poor Wilfred Brimley. Oops, I've known you were a special kid for a long time. What do you mean, Dad? I'm just a normal kid. I'm no different than any of my friends. There's... 
That's something I never told you. Huh? What do you mean? Maureen, your mother. We were so excited to finally have a child. You were trying so hard for many years it seemed never to work. You should have seen the look on her face when she went into labor. i never seen a woman so happy before. I'd never been so happy before. She was in labor for 36 hours. We knew you'd be a tough one coming out, but we never expected this. What do you mean, Dad? She... Your mother gave birth to a bee ball. It wasn't a bee ball. It was an egg. But it looked just like one. We didn't know what to do when the doctor said he'd never seen anything like this before. It was another three months before you hatched, Hoops. But... What does it mean? I don't know, but... But that's not the end.